Welcome to the Hampton Analytics Daily Market Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Thursday, September 13, 2012. For the market internals, the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline differential close at 1,611. NASDAQ advanced decline differential close at 1,069. We had 89 new 52 week highs for the S&P 500 and one new 52 week low. This is very bullish action here and we're getting kind of peaking here on the number of 52 week highs to 52 week lows. For the volatility, we saw 672,000 contracts traded for the VIX, with 76,000 million in total premium paid. For the dollar-weighted put call ratio in September, a 5.4 reading, which bullish, with 31% of the total premium paid. For October, a 2.8 reading, which is bullish also, with 42% of the total premium paid. And November, a 1.29, which is neutral, with 18% of the total premium paid. Here we have the daily chart for SPX. We have a new high for the year thanks to Ben Bernanke. We are at positive 3 sigma, which means we are short term overbought. This does not mean that we cannot go higher from here, but just means that be caution here. We have a red CI, but still positive slope. And CI dip continues to go higher, which is good for the market. Sigma channel width starting to increase again as the market goes higher, which is good also for the market. For the 60 minute chart, we're looking at the weekly support pivot and resistance. We touched our second target, which was weekly resistance number two at 1465.49. Almost came here at the highs of the day and then just backed off a little. For SPY, here for SPY, same thing. We touched almost weekly resistance number two at 47 and here we are short term overbought our target from here would be to the downside 145.74 and then 143 let's call that weekly pivot that's going to be a big reversal to the downside in case we get some this was due to the case that Ben Bernanke said that we're going to get more QE and it has it's going to be unlimited here we have the Nasdaq ETF the Q's we did not go to weekly resistance number two, not even to weekly resistance number one. That was our target, 71.16. But we did break the weekly pivot to the upside and then just sold off a little. We closed in at 69.57. Pretty good close here for the NASDAQ ETF. We did make a new high for the year also on this ETF. And we are at positive three sigma, which means we are short term overbought. For the IWM, this is the Russell 2000 ETF. We did a new high of the year. We talked about this one yesterday. Bearish, uh, bullish formation here, and we continue to be here on the channel. This one is not here overbought. Almost getting to that three sigma level of 86.64. That's going to be an important level to break here. We talked about being bullish after the bro break of the inverse head and shoulders. And now we're getting our targets here hit. We talked about 65.60 as the first target and 66.90 on the second one. We did not reach the second one, so we're targeting 67 for tomorrow if we do get an upside day. And if we get some type of reversal, maybe come here to the 84 level. 83, which is the weekly pivot, that's going to be quite far from here. And we most likely we're not going to get there. That's going to be a 2% move to the downside. Now let's go to the GLD. GLD, of course, having a great day today after Bernanke said that we're going to get more QE. We had here an outside day reversal. Yesterday we had the same thing to the downside, and today we reversed to the upside. We were selling off at the beginning of the day and then just broke up to the upside. We are 2% higher for GLD, a 7 month high, 171 for the metal. Very interesting pattern here. Looks very solid all those CI yesterday we talked here barely flat and red which is a warning sign but the pattern formation looks very sim uh, solid and the fundamental after Bernanke is coming out with more money print probably we're gonna get some inflation which means this is gonna be a good hedge and GLD should continue to go higher our targets here are 175 that's the positive 3 sigma and on the weekly pivot and resistance here we are looking at 
17237 and 17575. That's going to be a little extended for the week, but pretty much 172, 173 would be a very good target for the week on the upside. On the downside, we're looking for 167. That's a big move to the downside, would be taking all of today's gains. Probably not going to happen, so we're looking for 17030. That's going to be our downside target. Last chart, we're going to look at the VIX. And let's go to the daily chart. Here we have an outside day reversal for the VIX. And we talked yesterday, maybe go, coming here to the 14 level. We wanted to test this 200 day moving average first. This was not the case. We only came lower. Again, we are at 14.05, which is very good for the market. Does not mean we are going to have to find a top here. It just means that the intraday volatility is kind of low. For the McClellan oscillator, we touched 150 today. We talked about this 150 level being started to being overbought. Now here we have a McClellan oscillator on the overbought zone. Maybe we want to get to 200 before getting some type of a pullback or even higher. But from here on, we need to be cautioned on the upside. We have a special offer by TradeStation. Get your Hampton Analytics proprietary indicator paid by TradeStation. Contact Active Traders Office in Chicago. Peter Albino at the number listed below. Have a great day and I'll talk to you.